Hey, I'm Courtney and welcome back to Haven's Kitchen. So today we'll be making an HK favorite, which is our baked egg muffins. This recipe is so much fun if you have a bunch of teeny tiny humans running around or you yourself just want something that you can kind of grab and go for breakfast. So if this recipe sounds like something that you'd like to try, be sure to subscribe to see this and all of our future recipe videos. All right, let's get started. So for today's recipe, all you'll need is a muffin tray and an oven. And on the ingredient front, this is highly customizable. So we're starting off with some eggs. We'll add a little bit of cheese, some salt, some pepper to them. You can also lighten it up a bit with Greek yogurt. You'll want to use plain for a tangy taste and also a fluffier texture. Every egg muffin is going to be topped with your own assortment of veggies. So if you have leftover vegetables that you'd like to use up, you've got some broccoli that you want to throw in there. You've got some asparagus that you cooked last night for dinner, hopefully using one of our recipes, then you could just go ahead and shave that in or chop it up into small pieces and add that right into your egg muffin mix. All right, let's get cracking. All right, so we have all of our eggs cracked. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a whisk and then we'll season with our salt, our pepper, and we'll also add in our cheese. We've got our eggs all whisked. Now I'll add in my salt and pepper. And you wanna season pretty liberally here. You wanna make sure that you're getting that good flavor all throughout your egg muffins. And now some coarse ground black pepper as much as you like. I, for one, think that it's not seasoned unless I'm sneezing. Should we unpack that? So now we're gonna go ahead and add our cheese to our egg mixture. We're using mozzarella cheese, but you can use white cheddar, mild cheddar, sharp cheddar, Parmesan, feta, anything that you have on hand. Goat cheese is actually really beautiful with these muffins too. Um, so you just wanna use any melty cheese that you have on hand. We've also got some sauteed red onions here that I'm gonna go ahead and add into my mixture. I feel like I want this to be the constant between all of the rest of my ingredients, which will vary depending on each muffin because maybe you wanna change your vibe like halfway through the week. Maybe you want like a you know red pepper romesco tomato spinach situation one day. And then the next day you want sauteed mushrooms and chimichurri. And throughout all of that, you will have the constant of your caramelized onions. All right, so we have our muffin tin and I'm just going to spray it lightly with a little bit of cooking spray. Usually one to two per cavity will help. And now I'll pour in my egg mixture about halfway up each tin. All right, so we have our egg mixture in our tins and now we are going to add in our veggies. I love a lot of spinach in my egg muffins. So I'm just gonna throw this in here. And feel free to kind of treat this like an art project. It's really fun to play with your food. So get artsy, get craftsy. Tuck them down in there. And top your muffins to your heart's content. So now I'm adding in some tomatoes. You can sort of sprinkle them in. And then we'll throw in our mushrooms. Okay. All right, and now we'll give everything one final squeeze of sauce. So we'll do a little bit of romesco on our spinach egg muffins. Just a little drizzle. We'll also do a little bit of romesco on our tomato and mushroom egg cups. And you can kind of treat it like an art project. I mean, really, this is just so much fun. And now we'll drizzle a little bit of our chimmy into the rest of our egg muffins. All 
All right, so now these are ready to go in the oven for about 15 minutes. All right, so there you have it. Everybody at HK's favorite egg muffins. These came together so quickly and really with just a few ingredients. All you need, eggs, cheese, salt, pepper, and whatever leftover vegetables you have hanging around the house. So I highly recommend making this. And if you enjoyed this recipe, be sure to like this video and subscribe to see all of our future recipe videos. For the full recipe, not that there's much of one, and a textable shopping list, click the link below. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, cook happy.